Killing Sticks. Premium Carbon Fiber Arrows. Hey now peeps, today I'm gonna to be doing a test on the shoulder blade of a moose, a penetration test, because uh, Haas at Ethics Archery, uh, I did the test on the gel block and the LT1. It beat the, the micro, the regular micro, the LT penetrated deeper in the gel block. And what he said was, if I put that gel block, uh, you know, a chunk of gel block, then this shoulder blade, then we'd see who broke what or who penetrated deeper. So what I'm doing, is I have a piece of gel block here, I cut off my gel block, it's like two and a half, three inches, well two and a half inches thick. I'm gonna strap that on like that and shoot it right there. And I'm shooting the same bow, APA, uh, the Mamba 34, uh, 310 feet per second out of the LTs at 370 grains per inch. The micro ventilator LT, 40 ton modulus carbon, it is 370 grains. Uh, with a fixed blade broadhead, it is a Slick Trick Alcatraz. I bought this 10 years ago, uh, never shot them, but, uh, or never got to shoot them at anything. And then I have the regular micro at 479 grains, like total weight. And so that's 109 grains difference. And so we're gonna see if that 100 grains makes a difference in penetration. So I'm going to start off with the 479 grain arrow, uh, the micro, it's an inside diameter 0.165. And I think when I tested it on the gel block, it was 284 feet per second at 479 grains. Just for fun and to waste some money, is I'm gonna take one of these arrows right from my quiver and I'm shooting a dead meat, 100 grain uh, mechanical. All right, so the LT was sticking out 20 inches. So the full length of this arrow is, so it penetrated 11 and 3 eighths, 10 and 7 eighths. And then the LT with a dead meat broadhead went 24 minus 31 is six, seven inches, seven inches penetration. The LT, the micro LT won that one as well at 100 grains lighter, 109 grains exactly be lighter, but there's, it's got, uh, what would it be, 26 feet per second on that, uh, on the heavier arrow. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot lower into that shoulder blade, which is way thicker, and see if they still penetrate or if I just wreck some arrows and blow 30 bucks a pop here, 40 or whatever it is with a broadhead. Okay, now just for fun and to waste some more money, I'm going to uh, shoot the lower part of that uh, shoulder blade, that moose shoulder blade, with the dead meat just to see, because when I pulled it out of the target, uh, it was all broke up, like not the tip actually, because it's a pretty heavy duty tip on this thing, but the blades had broke. And I don't know it was, if that was from me reefing on it, but I'm gonna shoot through lower down where it's way thicker and see if it holds up. Uh, this is again with the micro LT. This is what I'm hunting with this year. Haven't got to shoot anything yet, but Jason has killed an elk, whitetail buck and a mule deer with uh, the LTs. Mitch has killed bear, uh, moose, uh, and a whitetail mealy buck. Killed them all with the LT, and actually he's shooting the dead meat broadheads, and they're, they're working really well for him, so. But I just, out of curiosity's sake, I wanna try it. I'm gonna put a fresh uh, shoulder blade up there. I got two of them, and I'm just gonna put a fresh one up there just so it's uh, fair, there's no holes in it, and, and we'll see what this dead meat broadhead can do. And she blew right through her like it was butter. Right there is the hole. Here's the two shoulder blades I shot yesterday. I let the dog chew on them last night to clean them up a bit. This is your regular micro hole. This is your micro LT hole, both with a fixed blade. Uh, you know, the I'm going for speed. I like the speed. I want the 300 feet per second. I've had too many animals jump the string on me, shot high, and then I went home and cried. But uh, you know, I'm really impressed with the LT. It did penetrate an inch deeper uh, into that uh, Grizz target. And, 
you know, it, it just performs well. If you want speed and penetration power, the Micro LT is, is for you. The, I get the guys with the heavy arrow, you know, it, it's, but it's just that much slower. And it's personal preference, you know. I want the speed and I want the hitting power and that's what I'm getting with the Micro LT. And then uh, I was impressed by the G5 uh, mechanical broadhead. You know, it, it punched right through the shoulder blade like butter and both, all three blades were intact, which was awesome. So, you know, my, I guess the next thing, my best advice I could give you is just don't shoot him in the shoulder. <laughs> 10-4 over and out. Killing sticks. Premium carbon fiber arrows.